settle in for a night at the theater. The stage is set, the broader script's written, but your choices shape how other characters... You can lose friends, you're the star. Playing our three main characters... Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue <coughs> Theater welcomes you to this production. Please, no videos or flash photography. Enjoy the show. Another beautiful Florida sunset, tainted by a dangling corpse. Jim Larman, janitor, it's a horrible job on the best of days. Shit, not again. Meanwhile, on I-95, Roma... Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So young and soon to be so unemployed. Boing boing cartoon sound effects. Just the right touch. Save my ass with plenty. The traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock. I didn't think it would take him so long to call. I'll get the story nailed down first. <laughs> Better known as Phaedra. Not bad on the Kardashian fame scale. On the Homeland Security scale? You've been in the thick of the current story. I always wanted to be a surfboard waxer in Madagascar. <laughs> Good gig? Couldn't stab a frog with it. We've got some questions. Not a lot of people left to give answers. That's on you, I hear. Just call me Lee Harvey. Why'd you get sacked? I was in a hurry. Took a source at their word for a story. Published on the blog with- Your editor must have been furious. Never call him a furry to his face. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news. Romana, I bet you didn't know a Tiber and Gallows could hang two dozen people at... But that wasn't even the real story. Tad Kern picked a perfect time to die. Thank him for what, though? A distraction at some dusty old roadside relic? I remember hearing about an incestuous family living in an old school bus here once. Headlines back in 2004 talked about Aunt Mom and Uncle Dad. Hi, 
Lenny. Finally answering your phone. I've spent all day with lawyers thanks to your colossal shitstorm. I guess that explains the smell. You outed Deandra Allister, TV's favorite wholesome head. A bartender at Shark Fit. Yeah, I read the story. So did a million other people. She's not gay. TV's fa According to string theory, she could be gay and... You screwed up before, but never any. Go big or go home, yeah? You're on your ninth life, Kitty. Tell me. I'm at ground zero for the death of Tad Kern. Get something online soon. Make it good. And no more mistakes. Close up of a cat with glowing red eyes. Soon. Don't support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. It's tacky, sure, but it's most- How can you say it's harmless? It depicts Native America- It doesn't affect me, really. You just don't get it. I'm here about Tad Kern, anyway. Oh, right, you're that blogger. Phaedra? I- What's with the fancy motor coach? Those folks are with the Church of Us. You- Maybe they can tell me more. Maybe. Or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner. Prismatic, at the very least. That makes as much sense as clock hands on a spoon. Are well, you ready for the Opto Levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. Sure. Let's get on with it. Is that a color or some kind of granola? It's not as lonely as they say. took my stepdad's last name. Not me. He didn't hit me as long as he didn't spill any. Try to find the owner to return the money. At least you tried. That goes a long way with the boss. He'll catch up with you later to talk about- I'm forming a raid group to take him down. Later, Phaedra. Alright. Time to chat with the man who found Kern dangling from that tower. Remy Bay, you didn't know. You can't put a convenience store close to a supermarket. Do I look Canadian? 
Fair question. Wily Canadians and their clever disguise. Have fun storming the castle! Yeah, I watched Apollo 11 launch from that tower back when I was... Did Lincoln lend you his binoculars for a better... Back in the day, my beard was better. Can you confirm that the man hanging from the tower to... Sure looked like him. Had a wallet with his driver's license inside, too. Was Kern alone? Nope, he was here with some folks from the Red Eclipse movie studio. Location filming. Did you notice anything strange before Kern died? Not really. Saw him leaving hungry cheeps after an earth. Any idea why Kern killed himself? Have you seen his latest movies? Did Kern scream at the last second? Like, maybe he changed- That's a morbid question. But no, he did- Are the Red Eclipse folks still here? No, I think so. Last I saw, they were hanging out at Hungry Chiefs. How's the food? Depends. How much do you love hugging a toilet? Those people should count their blessings and their calories. Better get what I can to the blog before Lenny pops an aneurysm. Miss T, you certainly didn't waste any time getting here. Enough chit chat. Did Kern say or do any? Honestly, he seemed broody. Tag lost a lot of confidence after a dystopic 12 and. Did Kern eat everything on his plate? Did he. Weird question. He didn't have much of an appetite. Hmm? Saw your post. It wasn't as sensationalized as I expected. Sympathy from you is surprising. Always a pleasure, Donnie. Can I call you Donnie? Or Fred? I can't believe this is happening. Why'd Kern want to kill himself? That's the thing. He wasn't depressed or anything. He really liked where the new project- Do you plan to cash in on his death with a kiss-and-tell memoir? I'm offended you'd even ask! And another thing! Yes? I appreciate what you posted earlier. Respectful. Pineapple! Randy bet you didn't know all Spanish moss comes from one ancient dude. I doubt that's true. Randy speaks truth. Wikipedia knows all, tells all. You saw Kern before he died. Did sure did. Served him a Scout Burger special. Fresh. Did Kern seem upset? Remy might have made him a little mad. Told him how awful. Does the menu offer vegan? No, man. Just me. I like meat chunks in my yogurt. Tasty. Oh, by the way, Remy heard Cordray talking about you. He wanted a word. It's such a tragedy. What happened to your mother? She deserved better. I want information about Tad Kern. I can tell you that he held a ranking of dark matter. A rep. How big is the Church of Us? We've got six million members worldwide at last count, growing every day. Such a pleasing sight. Mixed opinions about Kern's death, obviously. Miller, the movie director, claimed Remy seemed mostly neutral, except that Miller didn't think Kern had an appetite. And what's the deal with creepy Gordon Cordra? Might have to call her about him. Surprise! First call home in a couple of years.
Tell us about this source of yours, the one who calls himself Anonymous. He texted me out of the blue. I know you- Do you realize how much trouble you've caused? Oh, I'm just getting started. Earlier, at Trails End in Cyprus Knee, another death investigation. One more item for the Count Blotter and the Cypress Knee noted. I wish I didn't have to bring Reggie to a crime scene when I promised him ice cream. Is that man really dead, Daddy? Don't touch anything. Okay, but then ice cream. You promised. Evening, Jack. Hey, Ozzy. Tell me the news. Mr. Swayhill here tried to bore a hole in his engine block with a 22 caliber pistol. Ricochet right through the left eye. Any witnesses? Just his pit bull shovel head. Dog. Anything else? About Swayhill, no. But I was curious. What brought you back to Cypress Knee? I figured you'd be on to much bigger things. Not like you went anywhere. Ever. Hang on a second there, Jack. <laughs> Sounds like we got another dangler at Chief Roadsides. Jackson Lawrence Bellet, you brought our son to a crime scene? Get off my ass, Tamara. Don't take that tone with me, Jack. I'll get shared custody revoked. Yeah, okay, fine. Just doing my job. Working for that shit newspaper's not much of a job. Too bad, Jack. I like writing for the notice. Big fish, small pond. What's not to like? I remember when you had... No one's getting rich in print journalism, Tam. Whatever, Jack. You've turned into such a disappointment. Speaking of Reggie, I've got to check out this other dead body call. It's your night with him. I've got clients here looking at mobile home rental options. I can only imagine how much that taxes your vast real estate. Fine. You'll owe me. That never changes. Chief Roadside's Wonderland suffers from a double-edged fact. It is, and is, the Silloway family built this place in the 1960s. Now, the Wonderland's an appalling relic. Most motorists zoom right by. Never, of course, all it takes is one suicidal Hollywood has-been to wake up this tacky little tourist trap. Some people don't give a possum's pecker whether Tag Kern's alive or dead. We got bigger problems. You've headed out for the Silloway family since old Merle H. Shut your mouth, Bellet, or you'll have grits for teeth. That was out of line. They're pumping natural gas from below Cypress Swamp for a big development project. Developers can't do that with... Some people know how to work their way around. Look, thanks for your time, but I really should talk to... Don't be an irresponsible jackass. All right, Mr. Gallant. What's the... Pr Go see who's parked outside. I'll humor you this one time. In the parking lot of the Mohawk Inn, you spy an official town car from Cyprus. Closer inspection suggests it's the town... Guess Gallon was right. Time to find a wayward town official at the motel. <phone rings> Evening, Tamara. I don't have time to... Might have something to do with the thousands of calls that came before this one. I didn't call to fight. I called to tell you about your son's dinner plan. 
truce, please. Dead actors, crazy corporate cultists, mosquitoes. What's not to love? The Gallant property is an obstacle. Eminent domain's a tough nut to crack on this project. That's their idea of. Tough, maybe. Not a. It's possible. Expensive, though. We're not just fudging dates on a permit here. That ought to go nicely with a front page article. We don't need housekeeping, Jim. It's Jack Belt. Huh? Well, I guess you better come in then. What brings you to Chief Roadsides, Jack? Great question. Not much of a hangout for... Oh, no. I I'm here alone. Two people were talking in here. The senses play tricks out here by... I bet she's in the bathroom. Windows jammed, Gary. It's not what it looks like. Looks like the town council chairman and the chief plan... Okay, so it is what it looks... You're hatching some scheme to get the... Fine. It is what you think. I think you mean circum... No, Eula, if I meant... Oh, I think that's circum... It's got nothing to do with putting in... Divorce is finalized. Tamara wants full custody of... Oh. Anyway, can we all agree this isn't newsworthy? Two public servants conspiring to steal land sounds like news to me. Evening, Jack. You're coming with the rest of the sharks, huh? Life could be worse. Nice thing about this shit job is I don't have to answer questions from second-rate print wretches. Are you sure you're in the right place? I've got some questions about Tag Kern. Mr. Kern was a valued member of the Church of Us, yes. Good to know. But I'd like to... What do you want to know? How long was Kern a weist? Really, Mr. Bellet? Must you use the... Did you talk to Kern at all today? Briefly. We had a counseling session this morning. Did Kern seem upset, depressed? I can't offer specific details. Is there anything else? I'm done for now. Mr. Bellet, perhaps you'd like to sit and take our test. Sure. Assuming it's free. The test itself is free. Life as a member of the Church of Us, however... Okay. Standing out. Maybe I'm a Yankee at heart. I'll be honest, it sucks. Can't go through life without feeling. Took him long enough. Hey, Ross. I'm on the... Inmates running the asylum over there, or what? 
Kern's dead, but maybe. Listen to me. If it bleeds, it leaves. I want a story on... I know, but I caught Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean... Golden Cypress isn't news. I need an article A.S. I hear you, boss. fast. Hi, boss. Jack, good work on the curve. Thanks, boss. Why are you hampering an FBI investigation? What are you even talking about? You could go to prison and face a major fine, Mr. Bellet. I could lose my son. That'd be so much worse. I was a hero. I saved lives. I had a badge. Times change, Monroe. Left small town Florida. Got a job as a Hollywood cop. Now, I'm back in Florida. Can't even hold a job as a monk. Yeah, been a hard year. Caught the asshole, slapped it around his girlfriend, one of the cashiers. She took his side. Thanks, right? I used to matter. Not anymore. End of the road, Monroe. From the past. You still in Orlando? For the moment. Why? Got a job for you. I'm in the middle of eating a bullet here, Don. Who'd notice? Make yourself useful, Casey. What's the gig? Tag Kern's dead. Killed himself up here in Cypress Knee. Mystery solved, sounds like. Right? Right? Red Eclipse Studios wants you to ask around, get a full account of what All happened. All right. On my way. Monroe, let's go home. anymore. But this Florida cracker town helped make me one broken, desperate. A man on the edge. Doubt you've heard of it. Until tonight, at least. Thanks to Tag Kern. If anything needs a major makeover, it's this tacky wonderland. The corpse might still be warm, but something tells me those vultures from the Church of Us are... It's in the air. That stench of weest self-importance and smirking menace. Ah, glad you could make it, KC. I wouldn't pass up a chance for a getaway from the... No way, really? I thought you were happy to go to Orlando. Let's cut to the chase so I can start the meet. Look, the studio can't wait for the official pro- Why is that exactly? A lot of money is at stake. Insurance claims need to be made- Bean counters. World comes to a standstill if their ledgers don't tally. Okay, I'll do what I do. Send you regular reports. Remy, bet you didn't know Genghis Khan kept a burger patty under his... 
That's an amazing fact. Re Remy don't mind. Remy knows sometimes people not- What can you tell me about Kern stay here? Remy tell Kern, Meacham sucked. I'm not sure that would cause him to kill himself. Remy wonder why you working for Miller. The studio needs to process their insurance claim quick. Remy wonder why. Remy know m I should have known that. <sighs> Maybe I'm too rusty at this. You and Donovan go back a ways, I hear. Our relationship is large. Are you brawn or brains for hire? Why? Which one turns you on? <laughs> Funny, Mr. Gaddis. But a lady. N Listen, the studio has got me looking into. Sure, you're probably no worse than these other vultures. Eyes and ears open. I try to. Good. I feel like no one really wants to know how I. F Why do you think Kern hanged himself? I know he was happy. I have no. Someone offed him? Anything would be more believable. I think it's time to make a report. Get paid. Let's do this. Place the face. Sorry, sweet. Janelle Smith. Does that name sound familiar? Hard to forget. She spread her legs for the wrong guy. That's my mom, asshole. <laughs> you still know how to make a good first impression. All those years in charm school. Hard at work, then? Save it, Don. Monroe and I are on the clock. Keep up the good work. And quit ginning up. Hire me, you hire the dog. Cope. Kid, you won't believe how glad I am to see you. Who let you out of the swamp, JD? Won't be much swamp left soon. I'm here on a job investigating the death of Tag. Who gives a damn about another dead actor? They're destroyed. I need the income. You didn't used to be all about the money. I'll touch base with you later. That's a face I never thought I'd see in Sarper's knee again. So, this is- I've got a formal mop and bucket for commencement ceremonies. What happened to your job at the university? You dropped out of my class, as I recall. Don't dodge, Professor. How do you go from- Weren't you a Hollywood cop? I remember Ross Stevens wrote about you stop- May not atone for all my sins- Look, I'm proud of you. And I'm grateful you carried a badge on the left coast instead of Florida when I fell from grace. Look what I did with all that potential. I'd love to harness the power of all humanity's school. As much as I'd like to share tale. Not sure what I can tell you that I didn't already tell that blogger girl. People really like to hang them. We get about one dangler every year. Lonely hearts and desperate. What drove him to it? Capsizing career, lost youth, trouble in bed. 
Nothing but rumors, really. Can't imagine any of it justifies suicide. Maybe Kern couldn't see another way out. You really believe that? Life can take people to dark, lonely... That fight shapes a man's character. I spent six years in prison for sleeping with a high school girl and sharing cocaine with her. You're mopping up after people who couldn't... Win. That's harsh, Casey. Sorry, Professor. Uncalled for. I'll live. Haven't seen you in these parts for a long, long time. You see the post about me on FanRage? Yeah, nice work. Sad about the actor. But can't you keep in touch with anyone else from Heck High Class of 80? Still got a few folks in town, sure. Some left and came back like Jack Bellet. You bet. Maybe if I hang myself from that tower first. coming to visit, but I scarcely believed you'd have the temerity to show your face. What can I say? I couldn't afford to lose the chance to see your smirking face. Suffice it to say, the church hasn't forgotten. Don't you church thugs have more important things to do, like... We can't all go snooping through bedroom windows for a... Your old boss committed statutory rape. You ruined that girl's career, and Boyd Conover killed... Hey, Gordo, we all pay for our choices in this life. You've been busy, Mr. Gaddis. Yeah, well, no matter how much I try to be good... You've nursed a grudge against the Church of Us for a long time, haven't you? I guess it's a hobby. All this over a movie mogul and... No, they hit closer to home when I was a kid. What's your plan after payback? Oh man, I'm just getting started. After Hungry Chiefs, I made my way to the Mohawk Inn for a look at Kern's room. Sometimes I just like to make blanket angels in a dead actor's room. They're behind the couch. But what if Kern really like liked? You never call. I never fly like a pig full of helium. Come home soon. I pretend the roads to California end in a chasm at the Continental Divide. Fifty dollars a night. No pets. Especially ferrets. Pity, as I am at least 30%. What's the other 70%? Smart-ass Yankee? And 6% sawdust. What do you want? I'm a blogger with fan rage. Maybe you've read my stuff? Yeah? Well, it's sealed off. You got as much chance as I do of visiting Taylor Swift's dressing room tonight. Sometimes you just like to feel... Sorry, I'm not interested in helping media vultures. Did I mention I'm with Fan Rage, Mr. I know who you are. My daughter reads your blark thingy. Ain't like you. Funny you should bring up miracles. I once got. And people say Florida's weird. Notice anything during current state? Well, I saw Kern and his little girlfriend arguing. You're sure? 
She called him a flaccid, passionless... Thanks for your time. Uh, before you go, little girl, uh, something else I should tell you. Only if you sing it in Esper... Everybody's all wrong about Kirk. How do you know? I was outside having a smoke when it happened. Saw two people up there. Looked like they were struggling. That's practically a traffic jam on your TP tower. We don't draw a lot of crowds, true. Did you keep it to yourself or alert the police? Chief Pendleton got the security camera footage from... Show me. I wish I could. He took the hard drive. Murder makes more sense than suicide. Both are pretty awful hobbies. No argument here. Can you buy a noose at Hobby Lobby? Anyone ever tell you that you're weird? Just the people I can't see. That doesn't make you very likable. So I guess this means we won't braid each other's toenails. Sorry, miss. No one goes inside without proper authorization. Don't you recognize me? I'm Phage- Of course. Saw your most recent post about the suspect on the tower with Kern. I almost never write about- Great, because I'm diabetic. I go into insulin sh- Is this now a murder investigation? I'm not at liberty to discuss details of an active- Fine. Can I get Not without proper authorization. How do I get authorized? Your media. I doubt you can get authorized. Proper law enforcement can contact the Cypress Knee Police Department and request a QR code. If I wore a monocle, it would be popping off my face right now. Like I said, Miss Teague, no authorization, no- Here is my stinking badge. Wait, what? Seriously? Just- Totally legit. Well, whack me in the head with a gavel and call me a swamp ape. Okay, I guess.
interesting. How'd it feel, running into Casey Gaddis at Chief Roadside? Super fun hoopy times. You believe Tina Gray was innocent? I don't believe fish sticks can climb the Eiffel Tower either. You didn't like Gordon Cordray much, did you? Should have heard how he talked to me, cunt. What happened after you met Cordray the first time? Wandered over to Hungry Chiefs for a word with the movie studio folks about Kern. Well, Mr. Cordray just wanted to offer my... Thanks, Chief Pendleton. Tag... We're going to bring whoever killed him to justice. Count on that. No such thing as justice. My... Tamara's not all bad, Jack. She's helping me and Lurleen find a new house. Anyway, I hear your boy's signing up for Little League. Baseball's almost as pointless. Bite your tongue, Jack. It's a game chock full of tactics and strategy. He'll learn a lot if he makes the cut. What the hell do you mean, if he makes it? Try not to freak out, Jack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should... I hope you understand the importance of confidentiality when it comes to our members. Sure. You've got plenty. And what skeletons dwell in your closet, Smith? Best thing for you, really. Flunking that test wouldn't want to give you false hope. Or maybe you'd try to claim your machine was broken when... Why are you bothering me? Tina Gray's not a member of your freak show, is she? Our membership roster is confidential. Remy bet you didn't know gunshots and whips make the typewriter noises and Of course I knew that. I'm You want anything else? Scout bird? Is that actually a thing? Remy trying new menu experiments. People bugging you with lots of quest- Remy guess that goes with the territory. You got some? How do you think Kern's death is going to affect- Remy thinks this puts Chief Roadsides back on the map. Everyone gonna come from miles around to see where Tag Kern off himself. Maybe Tag was right. I just didn't want to let go. Why the struggle? I thought he'd finally put me ahead of his devotion to the Church of Us. The Church kept the... Like a miser, clutching his last shiny dime. So you're the yutz who's been writing nonsense about tag fighting with everyone before... I'm not big on Hollywood gossip, but... I suppose it could have been worse. Anything you want to add? 
Uh, Mike? I just say that it was an honor and a privilege to work with Tag. He'll be missed. Well, son of a bitch. It's just one happy reunion after another in Chief Roadside. Casey Gaddish. Can't forget the dick. Not my fault you couldn't find your way out of this town, man. Your backstabbing cost me a scholarship to fl- Keep telling yourself that, Jack. Yeah? That's not right too much about the Church of Us, okay? I hear you, boss. Played it smarter. Maybe I could have landed at the LA Times or the Washington Post. I let my pride wreck a perfectly solid career. Got overlooked for an editorial promotion and called a publisher a Machiavellian asshole. He thought I'd punch him. I should. So here I am, back at the Mohawk Inn. Why rush back to the office to put the paper to bed? The more I chase the story Ross wants, the crankier I get. But he can kiss my pasty white ass if he thinks maybe he'll fire me. Maybe that's okay. Or I could grab dinner at Jamal's taco truck and leave a st Better dig a little more while I'm still employed. Let's see what Rutledge Silloway can offer in the way of news. Evening, Jack. Ross got you working the Tag Kern story like everybody else? He wants me to follow that bullshit story. How's that news? Everyone knows the development's coming. It's gotta be more goddamn interesting to my readers that- If you say so. Depends on how you spin it. How's Ross feel about it? He's waving me off every time I burp. Maybe you should take the hint. Hi, Ross. You get my story? Crystal, but... No but, Jack, except you... Got it. Jesus, what a dick. Maybe he can have a tragic accident. If anyone's got it worse than me in this world, it's gotta be Jim Larman. He deserved a lot worse than a little prison time for screwing a teenage girl and giving her drugs. I learned the hard way not to piss off the wrong woman. At least I lived to tell them. Always good if you're still kicking to count the sc- Camera is still working you over with her claws, Jack. Still. Doubt it's- Not as long as you got a kid together. She just wants- Yeah? What if she decides taking full custody is best- I'd fight her to the bitter end. Looks like somebody finally escaped from the bathroom. Eula Dean, town planner for Cypress Knee, Gary Buckingham's co-conspirator. She's a public servant, and the people deserve answers. They're going to get them even if I have to throttle her. I understand your concerns, Jack, but can't you see how good Golden Cypress would be for our town? Good for some people in Cypress Knee. Really, Jack? You're overreacting a smidge. People aren't sheep, goddammit. 
I guess that means we can't count on your support going forward. I'll support any plans you have for going... Jack Bellet, we must talk. I'm getting awfully tired of people barking orders at me. It's going to end in a cataclysm, Jack. Everybody deals with their own personal apoc- The spirits grow angrier. They will lay waste to the abominations that fester here. If I were them, I'd be pissed too. Flee, Jack Bellet. Take your family and escape this place. Let's not go overboard with the melodrop. When the time comes for regrets, remember. You will- Roger that. Oh, wow. You're the newspaper reporter, huh? Oh, wow. Must suck to be you. That blogger girl sure packs a punch. Next time, I'll think about hitting back. Past is past. Gotta wrap up this investigation, take the studio's money. What's next, I expect, is yet another disaster. I'm pretty sure Rupp doesn't allow pets in his motel. Good to hear Silhouette's so picky about his clientele. Helps. You're Casey Gaddis, right? Sure feels like it most of I knew your daddy back in the day. Your mama, too. Didn't you sell them a piece of... Oh, have you know that was a quality... I think you mean cat... Ain't got nothing to do with someone. So Jefferson Dean Gallant tells me y'all want to knock... Our ex-mayor's a real drummer queen. Don't you mean drama queen? Ain't got nothing to do with seasickness. Is Gallant telling the truth? He's blowing it way out of context. I mean... I suspect you meant struck... Ain't got nothing to do with insurance policies. Fifty dollars a night, no pets. And that means no dogs. No ferrets either. I wouldn't want my dog to get fleas from your room. Have we met? Sort of. You set a cross on fire in my family's front. I am an upstanding member of the Cypress Knee Chamber of Commerce. Never been in the clan. The chamber and the clan aren't the same thing in Cypress Knee? No, sir. We got at least three Jews and two and a half Cubans. This big development across the... Maybe. Might be the last nail in our coffin, too. Oh, of course, they might buy me out. That'd be fine. Hi, Mom. Chief Carraway Gant. You're home for the first time in, what, five years? And Not like we talk much anyway. I suffered through 96 hours of labor for you. Really? We're up to 96 now. The point is, we should talk more often. I won't leave town without seeing you. Better not. You'll make your mama crazy. Don't worry. Casey Gaddis, it's been way too long, man. Good to see you again. All it took to bring me back was a corpse on a rope. You still play much maps and mischief? Not really, but I'm a level three ex-husband, so I've got... If you want to move back, now's the time. Golden Cypress away. Yeah, that project keeps coming up. Everyone thinks it's going to turn Cypress Knee back into... Hope that works out. Foss tells us you left this town a long time ago. 
Boss stinks. Maybe you should have stayed left. Is this the part where you threaten me with bodily harm? Nope. This is the part where I mention how sad it'd be for anything to happen to that mud of yours. Picking on a defenseless animal? You've been warned, Gaddis. Next time, put it in writing. I should probably make another report now. Better check those receipts. Yeah? Well, you're a fat-faced old man with a fat haircut. I could use a better haircut. Shut your face, geezer. Careful, Jack. This kitty's got... I don't have time for you geriatrics anyway. Nothing to see there. Kern's... I'm going up there. For reasons. Shut up. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Jack's right. The tower's a dead end. Seriously? Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. Never been a fan of following instructions. I'll just track down Remy and see if he can get me up that tower. Later, old dudes. The tower's gone dark. Probably because something's up there the bad guys don't want us to know. Turn on the lights again, watch the roaches. Maybe it was the greasy fast food I ate on the road last night. The world was empty. Every... and I... really enjoyed the solitude. And I... couldn't explain why it made me feel so good. Remy bet you didn't know they call Ceruleum the color of the millennium. I always thought this millennium was... Oh, Remy just jam-packed with useful facts like that. Got any useful facts about the tower? You help Remy? Could be Remy help you. What have you got in mind? Remy take care of the gator pit here at Chief Roadsides. Doesn't ring a bell. He's a star attraction here. Big old gator. Do you talk to Jumper? Does Jumper- You're weird. Remy like that. What does Jumper eat? Big old Jumper. He can't resist a tasty chicken in a diaper. What's so appealing about chicken in a diaper? Looks like a chubby little infant to that old gate. Back soon. If some Hollywood Richie Rich wants to invest in our town, Miss Teague? Maybe you'd name a sewage treatment plant. It's rude to speak ill of the dead. Food gluey muggle not for tang for tang. So I was reading your blog. You picked up some. I do what I can to keep it fresh. Uncle Dad, that's my cousin. Family reunions are an absolute freak show. Does that make him Mr. Cousin Uncle Dad? Good to see you got your boy Bellet on a tight leap. Can you say the same about the... We've got an ace in the hole waiting for her. Don't sweat it. Remy bet you didn't know a baby uses 6,000 diapers in the first two... 
Oh, hey, Sheriff. Why'd you tell me to come get these things if you plan to be here? Remy's a complicated man. Starting to think you're from a family of hillbilly clones. Don't be grumpy, Cher. Let Remy show you feeding time with old Jumper. You promised useful information from... Ah, uh, right. Remy deliver on a promise. Cops got the teepee tower. Where's Farman now? Remy bet you find him in Rabbit's Run, Cher. The big palmetto... Might as well. Remy bet you don't know what drove old Gallant into the swamps all those years ago. Big old gator named Merle mistook Gallant's wee baby for a diaper chip. Gator got away off in the yonder swamp. Gallant? He ain't been right since. Kern's not the story. His girlfriend's not news either. Chickens don't make very good house. Sure, make jokes while develop... I'm listening. Those crazy weists, the movie people, even the town politicos, they're all... Like a wise man once said. Don't you want to tell an important story for a change? Can you open a wormhole with your mind? And people think I'm nuts. I'll think about that. I hope you do. Did you ever find the gator that ate your baby? Ate my boy. Took my wife's arm. Big albino bastard named Merle. No. Ain't... See you around, Ahab. He's been about as helpful as dentures on a dog. Time to make the clickbait. The hits just keep coming. Keeping busy tonight, eh? Remy claims you keep extra fuses for the tower elevator. Hey, now look, I doubt the cops want civvies stomping around up there. I'm wearing my quiet boot. Oh, what the hell. Just don't tell them I gave it to you. I don't want to lose what little I've got here.
That's more like it. Okay. You take care up there. Wait, what are you doing here? Once again, breaking the rules bites me right. So who cleans up the mess when the janitor's bleeding out? You shouldn't be snooping around here, Miss Teague. Hoodie guy stabbed old mop guy. Bro if we catch him, maybe he'll turn evidence ag You got it all wrong! I didn't do anything! I'd never hurt Ted. I'm still here. No way to be absolutely sure I'm still here, in the strictest sense of the word. The Deputy Chief. He saved me. Oh. Pretty sure the killer didn't buy a ticket for the tap. Making a dangerous choice here. Don't know what's waiting up top. Danger's not my middle name. It's not even... Hope I live long enough to make another post. Up we go. Damn, you're persistent. Must be in the blood. Better be careful running around. F Everything I've done has been for the good of the Church of Us. Well, I guess that makes everything as cool as... The Church owes you a great deal, Ms. Teague. You used me to fatten the Church? If you'd like, I'll be happy to. Share the wealth. Only if we can keep our dealings. Have a little faith, Eula. It's not the Church I'm worried about. Wreck it all if you want, but that'd be a mistake. The church... I've seen what the church does to its friends. Greed? You've graduated from the kiddie pool. You're all bad. All of them. And if we can't... They'll obliterate our sacred tribal... We can't do this all on our own. Between the crazed cult... The spirits won't abide this madness. And that blogger... Get your mind right. We're so much closer than you think, Romana. Let me help you. Let- That reminds me. I think I forgot to set my DVR to record my favorite telenovela. Casey Gaddis got it all wrong 20 years ago. What? Why would Mom lie to me all this time? Shame, I expect. The burden of a troubled conscience. I'm not so weak. I sure hope Courtney fed my goldfish. Just remember, little girl, immortality is the only option. <laughs> Pretty much par for the course when it comes to the men in my life. Reba so much blood on his hands, and it goes back years. He you his blood looks like an oil slick from up here. Immortality is the only option. I've heard that bit of we is gibberish before. If I drop a penny from up here. Will it bounce off court? Rutledge bet you didn't know neutering a ferret too young causes them to get cancer. So I say snip all the ferret babies. Right, Jumper? Jumper? Shit, not again! Meanwhile, at the Cypress Me Town Lord. That's odd. Tag Kerr never got an appen- Huh. Remember Ray Joe Swayhill? He got- Oh, yeah, right. So? He won a Tag Kern look-alike contest at the found- Wait. So everyone's freaking out. Might be worse than that. Ray Joe's brother Jack is enjoying. So where's the real tag curve? <laughs> the Full Love Theater thanks you for providing an excellent performance of Knee Deep Act One Wonderland.
Remember where you're sitting and come back for Act Two, the Festival. End. For now. Welcome back from intermission. You get in one last game, ready to resume the Swamp Noir story of Knee Deep? It's a glorious night for a fifth. It's the perfect. It's a... I ain't got nothing to do with opening crates. Ready the man, halt those vuvuzelas. Let the festival commence for you and for me! Did, Did you see? see? Can, Can you, you believe? believe? Remember this night. Recall where you were. Walking in it. Remember this night. Never forget, for good or ill. His choice is down. A... Remember this night. Hold dear the lawmen. Forever in our... They gave their life. Remember this night. Remember well. From the tower, the churchman... A man of... So much for our glory. So much for... The cap. Don't you... I'm not talking about jokes. They're too soon, Eula. Cue the... While... The washed up newspaper report. They learn and how. After all, you can drown in knee deep water if you stand on your head. You're sticking with the story that Gordon Cordray confessed to killing Tag Kern before killing himself. It's possible that Cordray was just... See, we've got another theory. Do share. We'll get to that. What happened next? I took the elevator from the tower back down to talk to Tina Gray. Such a nightmare. Don't ask me to pinch you. Why are you so flaky? It's probably this Florida heat. Took some guts going up that tower after him. Someone had to stop him. Why'd he do this? He killed Tag Kern for the insurance payout. He... You went up there. Did you push him off the tower? I had him cornered, but he jumped. Wait a minute. Cordray killed Tag and Larman, killed two cops, and then he killed himself instead. It's possible he met his quota for carnage. You're that blogger, right? I'm this blogger, not that blogger. I'm Carl Rosen. My partner's Gil Stern. Stop by the morgue downtown later. We've got something you should see. I'll stop by as soon as I can. God damn it, we got a problem! Problem's my middle name. It's Jumper! Gator's loose! He's on the prowl, and it's festival time! Close the beaches! You don't get it, out-of-towner. We've had this problem before. Dogs... Right? Isn't it Remy's job? Remy got called away for something else. Was it the rapture? Did I miss the... Tr it's a bad situation here! Make yourself... I just bet someone... 
turned the gator loose as a diversion. You're both a couple of mouth-breathing... What gave you the idea? It wasn't my idea! Gaddis suggested it then. The best way to make sure I don't do... Fine. Play dumb, sir. Made my way to the tower as soon as I saw the letter fall. Listen, little girl, what we got here is a crisis that... Little girl? That's no way to get my help, old man. Well, don't blame her for the crazy... We got a loose gator on the run, Jack. That's bad. Really bad. I'll get the word out. Thanks for spreading the word, Jack. Anything happens to Reggie, I'll really be... Gunning for Gordon Cordra, weren't you? You and Bellet couldn't stand the guy. After 20 years of bad blood? After what happened to your father during his dalliance with the Church of Us? If I wanted payback, it sure as hell wouldn't be. You didn't feel threatened by Cordre and his... The only way i try to kill anyone else is if... Is that what happened up on the tower? I wasn't up there when it all went down. That's not what we heard. I'm here. You're here. Let's put the past behind us. Let We're a bit beyond happy endings. Look, I agreed to meet you here on good faith. Yeah, we were kind of counting on that. Whatever you want, name your price. I don't want any trouble, just let- Give my regards to Boyd Conover. That's absolute bullshit. I had nothing to do with his death. I've covered a lot of strange stories in the past three decades. This would- Come on, admit it. You wanted him. Dead as much as your old high school pal. I'm not sad he's dead, but I didn't kill him. We're not saying you pushed him off the tower. We're saying Bella did it for you. That's a crock of shit. Our witness argues otherwise. Let's see the evidence. That's not how... It happened at all. Oh? I went up on the tower. Mike Tyson sank. <laughs> A likely story. So, next, you went downtown to the police station. I wanted to turn myself in for jaywalking. It's true then? Chip's dead? His name was Chip? Watch your mouth, blogger girl. We named our son Chip too. So if your son's a Chip from a Chip, why'd you turn out this way, sugar? Mama raised a cane? Okay then, I suppose we ought to get your official statement. Make it quick, I've got a meeting at the morgue. Anything interesting in that text? The 
kerning's a little off on the font. Is it okay if I stick with you, then? I'm wearing Teflon today. Sorry. I'm off to the morgue. You know, I thought I noticed something interesting scribbled. Just have to get past that combination lock on the door. And hope the chief's wife doesn't notice me. No sense taking the risk. I'm just saying, we could have flat out... Wrong place, wrong time. The world needs to know, Gil. Tech. And we'll tell everybody, Carl. Just be patient. Uh, Gil? Someone's in the road up ahead. Car trouble, probably. Just pass them. She's waiting. Gordon Cordray never saw you coming, did he? He underestimated you. Keep me locked up in this place a little while longer. <laughs> Pretty brazen threat. Ill I'm done with this shit. I want humor us just a little while longer, Jack. Headed to the watch to catch up with my son and ex-wife. Happened to Chief Roadsides. That dumbass Church of Us fanatic decorated the street with it. Show some sensitivity, Jack. Gordon Cordray helped me reach Prismatic. Oh. I was on my way to Quantum. So you're sinking all that al It's none of your business what I do with my own money, Jack. Anything else you've convinced? Mommy, Daddy, don't fuck. I should take him home. It's late, and he's got school tomorrow. I'm running this lunacy up the flat. Legal threats, Jack? Really? In front of your son? What's wrong with you? Come on, Red... Mr. Bellet. Christ, what do you want? <sighs> what are you blowing up at me for? I'm sick of women trying to screw me over. Wow, someone drank way too much Crankerade. Never mind. Don't mind the bellowing name. Just Maybe don't take it out on me. I'm here to help. Help me how? You shouldn't quit on that Golden Cypress story. Mr. Gallant's right. I can get you proof. Are you trying to get me fired? Snap out of it. Maybe you're having a shitty night, but that project's gonna wreck our town. You want to save this town from itself. That's some example you're setting for that little bull- I'll hear you out, but no promise- Great, I've got a shift in the dunking booth over at the festival. Let's talk after I'm done. So tell us, Mr. Gaddis, where'd you go after the letter fell? <laughs> Why pretend you give a shit? We want to hear your version of events. If you're saying Jack Bell had acted alone, we're willing to consider the theory. If I'm not saying that, though, you're not... The phones don't work right now, Mr. Gaddis. <laughs> Repair crews say it could be days. The Army Corps should have an emergency bridge to the interstate dump. All thanks to you and your accomplices. Hey, no need to thank me. I get... What happened next, Mr. Gaddis? 
After the letter fell, I caught a ride with Woodstep into town, and shit got weird. I'd known Bob a long time. He'd always been a little odd, but that night he seemed especially strange. You should get in your car and drive from this place before it's too late. Oh, I think I've already tumbled past the point of no... The town is doomed. For you, I think, hope remains. You're freaking me out, Bob. Cypress knee is due a reckoning. Disaster awaits. You're saying I should run from that? I'd rather have a front row seat to watch. The atrocities wrought upon our sacred tribal lands cannot go unanswered. Maybe I should try. Look, our people believe in a spirit called Rabbit. He's talked through you for a long time? No, no. Just since those Church of Us... Nothing but bully. Maybe. Although it may be too late after all. Stop speaking in riddles. Behold! You recognize them? The bullet holes are the most distinct. They came from the morgue to get Gordon Cordray. Gotcha. We can account for the workers, but where is Cordray? Cordray's probably walking it off. This is how it begins. It ends with me cracking your skull like a heretic. Do what you must. The spirits will have their vengeance for the wrongs done against our sacred lands. Sure. Whatever, Bob. Give me the key. I'll try. Before we go, let me dust the back of the ambulance for Prince. Just for giggles, right? Got a nap for that.
I get why the prints from the morgue workers are back there, Monroe, but Kearns? Better than seeing Cordray's bloody hand prints, I guess. Fewer zombies around here, the better. Guess I'd better check in with Donovan about this. It just gets worse and worse, Monroe. Well, this is disappointing. I'm on time for a meeting for once, and they're totally late. If I could go back in time, I'd show up later. What's keeping them? Could be they're reenacting weekend of... Well, I'll show them. Let's tell FanRage readers what's going on. No sense putting it off. Wait, what's that music? Gather around, folks. Doyle's the name. Dance it. Earn points. Keep in score. That's what we're maneuvering. Just remember, win or lose. It's all the same. Every play offense. It's not hopscotch, horse, or chess. When you lose, you may think. Doesn't matter if you're in it for fortune or fame. Drink the punch, every ounce swigged, and tell yourself the game's not rigged. Well, well, well. Well, billions of years ago... Why do you try so hard not to fit in? It's a lot of work to keep... I'm sorry. I never told you the truth. You deserve to know. I want to climb into a hyper-time cube oh. and go back to when I didn't... Do it all again. You're in my life. I wouldn't change that. How is it possible? 
I'd really rather pay a lot for this muffler. What if I really am Gordon Cordray's daughter? I'm not listening. La 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 la. Despite the sad news from Chief Rote, that means one last chance for us. On one side, we got the challenger. On the other, we've got incumbent Gary Buckingham. Born and raised in Cyprus. I want to vote for the cucumbent. Cyprus Knees stands at a crossroads. Well, not stands, exactly. It's a town. It's a crucial time. We're on the verge of something super great. We can be what we were in the 1960s without all the unpleasantness and uh, just for <coughs> Y'all know me. Y'all know I got nothing but the best in mind for our little town. Polls open tomorrow. The buck starts here. Again, God bless you. And God bless the town of Sackless Knee. It's late, and I appreciate everyone sticking around to hear us talk. It's important because my opponent's right. We're at a crossroads. We face a choice between business as usual corruption or a new day of open government and trans... A choice between comfortable fat cats who think they're above the law or an outsider with the gumption to stand up for what's right here in Cyprus Knee. Don't be fooled by people trying to trump reason with experience. Think with your brains. Don't be sheep. By any barometer, I'm the right choice. Chuck up. Give Chichester a chance. The newbie might actually stand a chance if the people pay attention. Thanks for calling the Pro Marshmallow Rights Political Hub. I'm actually going to miss these weird exchanges when you... What's that supposed to mean? You're fired, Phaedra. Oh. Phaedra's got new owners today. I'm less of a fan now. More about the rate. I'm sure you'll land on your feet, kitty cat. I don't really have time to talk right now, sugar. Don't you think you ought to make time? No, Jack, I don't think so. I think I've got enough on my plate without concerning myself. The taxpayers need to know what you're doing to- I was just the dispatcher until tonight, Jack. The taxpayers, bless their sweethearts. Great. Another job you'll suck at. You'll want to leave now, Jack. Sorry to interrupt. Bob and I just... Carl Rosen and Gil Stern are dead, ma'am. Adorable. More mayhem. I'd better get you boys some Form 550s to fill out. If Jumper did this, that church of a... That's the truth. Bad time to bug old Remy, Jack. Guess it was a good time to drop your- Oh, Remy don't answer to some washed up flabby old reporter. Honestly, I can't remember seeing Remy Dixon in such a hurry before. Shithead, could have done a better job helping me do my job.
Well, look who finally crawled back from Chief Roadsides. I'm not the one without a spine around. You know, before I got here, I felt a little... What are you talking about? New management bought the Cypress and he noticed today. We need a day to swap out the pertinent information on the stationery. Dick move, Ross. Selling the... Look on the bright side. I am telling you that you're fired. Cost-saving measure. I made a promise back at Chief Roadsides. No matter what, I mean to keep it. Not that I put a lot of stock in promises before. Dad promised he'd always be there. Look how that turned out. He wasn't lying, if I assume there meant to. The time has come for pie, Casey Gaddis. Try not to choke on the pecans, Bob. You're late, Casey. Sorry, Mom. Got here as quick as I could. And who's your friend? That's Monroe. He's my dog. Not the dog. The guy. Oh, him. That's Bob Woodstep. Precious time slips away from us. We must eat pie, and then fl That's what I'm talking about. Guess we should hurry up and order then. Can't hurt. What'll you have, folks? Black coffee and lemon meringue, please. Pecan pie. Two slices. No ice cream. Coconut cream pie. Water. Coming right up. They're keeping you busy with that act of death, aren't they? Busy's good. I got whiplash when I found- I'm not surprised. I believe those weest monsters are capable- They do have a history, don't they? All right. Your slices and a burger patty. Charred. Thank you so much. It looks delicious. Enjoy. Why'd you give up being an officer of the law? Shot a man. He died. Thought he was armed. But it was just a smartphone. You're the only one still beating yourself up over that, though. No, Mom. The police commission... I worry about you. I share her worry. You are deeply troubled. Eat your pie and shut up, Bob. Conversation ran dry before the last forkful of pie. Told Mom I'd see her later that night. Didn't know I was lying. Uh, tonight sure took an ugly turn. You can thank the ghost of Gordo for that. Look, KC, there's been a change of plans. You're kidding, right? I've been paying out of pocket. Real sorry you made the drive. I hate to put you out. This comes from higher up. I don't think I've even got enough to fill the tank to get back to Orlando. I wouldn't have been too surprised when your editor let you go. I was more surprised when that fork didn't kill the- Did the news make you mad? It's an honor just to be- What happened next? 
No matter what Lenny said, I still had work to do. Readers counting on me. I kept digging. Someone's having as rough a night as me. Maybe one of us makes it to dawn. I'll still be unemployed when daybreak comes, just waiting. Fan Rage fired me. No shit. Why? I forgot the secret handshake. That seems sudden. Sounds familiar. Someone just bought the Cypress. Someone doesn't want us digging any deeper. Why is that? I don't feel very good. Remember the two dead morgue workers out on County Road? Wait, dead? I was supposed to meet them. Gunned down in their ambulance. Whoever did it took Cordray's body. Probably don't need to look any further than... I sure do hope we solve this mystery, and it's not so much wrong... It all comes down to that goddamn Golden Cypress developer. Mark my words. I'd mark them if I had a permanent ink pen. I'm no Sherlock, but this town's in deep. He might be right. I'm supposed to meet Danny Gibbons at the festival. She works in the planning office. He might be right. He might be left. He... You're pretty weird, but I think J.D. That's the spirit, kid. Well, there they go. Some people just can't take a hint. They had their chances. Duly warned. It's not some harmless midway game. No fluffy bear. The body counts all... Our little town does what it must to stay alive and thrive. So go... Hey, old dudes. Bet I can beat you both at whack-a-mole. Don't we have more important things to do? Can't we find a shooting gallery instead? Man up, ladies. Grab a mallet and... Next bosses now we're talking. I always sort of hoped I'd land a better gig. I wanted to leave on my own terms. But could you stab a frog with it? I could sure try. Cosplay outfit? <laughs> Raggedy rifle. It's a good flushing. Time's over. Let's go talk to Dan. Her name's Danny. She works for Eula Dean. 
I bet she knows plenty. Her dad wanted a boy, huh? Not as far as I know. Isn't this one a little young for you, Jack? Maybe he's too young for me. Oh, yes, you're the blogger. It's Phaedra. Anyway, Jack, uh, Reggie's gonna dump Danny, and then we're going home. Watch, Daddy. Last customer of the night. Be right with you, Jack. Aww. That was real close, son. Uh, loosen up your elbow. Pitcher's got no arm. Damn it. Reggie oh. James Bennett, that's unacceptable. No gas left in that tank, kid. Don't take any trash talk from her, son. Show her what you've got. I got her! I got her! Reggie, you okay? Wait. I think she got him away from here, Jack. Your friend from the planning office... Whoever did this is going to... I think I see our perp heading for that roof. Did he have a fiddle? Didn't seem to matter how many people got killed on their account. They just kept taking dangerous leaps. Remy? Gotta say, I'm surprised you could pull this off, Stoner. Ramona, bet you didn't know both wrists were gonna fit down. You could have killed my kid. Don't let me put you down like a dog, Remy. He deserves whatever he gets. Jesus Christ, Gaddis! Learn to duck. I'm allergic to feathers. He's escaping down that vent. Follow him. What are those idiots thinking? Super cromulent plan. I'm excited to be part of it. <gasps> Typical assholes. So this is the batshit crazy cave. Remy makes sense as their Alfred. Check out the spiffy map. Red Eclipse Cinemas. North Florida Notice. Does it show the way to Sesame Street? Bitch. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. Mommy, what happened to Daddy? He got on the wrong side of progress, honey. We'll fix that, if we can. So, the ghost's not really a grumpy old man in it. We're done talking. Ram it. Load him up. Blue Street? <laughs> Take a nap. Solid plan. 
Really, when I guess you better triple verify whether Medlin's gonna work out for you. I've had better luck untangling an etch a sketch. It's just one surprise after another in this place. I'm going to need some answers in the form of a question. Oh, come on. Don't you think you had it coming? Think I'll sit around as the world goes by. And don't hate me because you're tied up in the church RV. Play nice from now on. Everybody wins. Danny Gibbons, Jim Larman, Chief Pendleton, Ozzy Clendenning. Are they all winners? How about Tag Kern? He a winner too? I'd like to think so. I'm such a big fan. Well, there goes our chance to save... No, Jefferson Dean Gallant. There is another. to get kicked out of the theater before Act 3, Boomtown. For the conclusion of our Swamp Noir story with, they really water these down, don't they? The lonely hours just before dawn. Death at the tower. Uh, talking to yourself now? You are late, Jefferson. Okay, so... A succinct if incom... <laughs> Why not? From kings and queens. Sad how they all... No one wonders. That big old danger comes and I say the block. Daybreak throws aside its twilight cowl and waits to face what's on the ground. Meanwhile, on County Road 39, Monroe follows the scent of his missing master to the Golden Cypress construction site. Rock! Damn it! Rock smashes scissors! We can't just sit on them forever. Remy thinks they know way too- The math's not hard, boys. It's just- Why are we hurting Daddy? I don't want anyone else to die. Bad enough a little too late in the game for second thoughts, Tina. Don't get lost in the swamp. No way they'll kill us. I wouldn't be too sure about that. They killed Larman. Oh, we're dead. No doubt in my mind. Tamara's running the show. I'm sorry. Did it... What's the problem? To Florida? Not Florida enough, actually. Unless the dog's a pit bull with a mullet and the tractor. Monroe's right. We should go. Don't 
just stand there looking like swamp apes in nice suits. Get them! It's been a long time since I came up. Come for the mosquitoes. Stay for the crotch leeches. It's scenic and all, but shouldn't we find a main road? No, we need to stay low until we figure out our next step. Only one person with- The crazy man with gator angst? He's not as crazy as you think. Gator eats your baby. Make this must be the place. Good to see you all made it out of the clutches of the bad guys. And Gal. We wouldn't be alive if it- Guess Bob Woodstep's not as loony as- Hope you don't mind us, Bart. Glad for the company. Especially now that you know what I've been up against. It's true. Everybody wants a peep. Let it go. We can't keep at this fight. I should have listened to Bob. We can't let them get away with this. We've got- You're not thinking like them. That Casey's right. He's talking like a goddamn coward. But we can't refute the logic. They've- They've hurt my mother before. I want my boys safe. I just don't- No, y'all definitely stand out. Best you keep a low profile. Everybody just blows you off as batch. Pretty liberating for me, don't you think? <laughs> y'all sit tight. Keep an ear on- We're just supposed to trust you? Just in case. Not my weapon of choice. Suit yourself. I'll take that. Don't leave us hanging here too long, JD. Careful's not really a thing for folks like us, kid. Thanks for giving us a little sanctuary. We've always been there for each other when it counted, kid. It's good to see you back in... A little late to the party, but... We're taking those bastards down, Casey. Don't you worry about that. The Church of Us really did a number. Sure as hell did. Make sure she's safe, all right? I'll get her out of the crossfire. But when we're done with Tamara and her... What do you have in mind? You remember Merle, right? Big old albino gator ate my boy. Hurt my... Count on it. Thanks, kid. Keep an eye on him, Monroe. All this over a glorified shopping mall and a few nice houses. I don't think that's all there is to it. What else is behind it, do you think? Wouldn't surprise me to find out the church is all mobbed up. We looked everywhere. Too bad the cellular signal sucked. If they had a decent signal, they'd be posting more nonsense to the internet. Hey, that's a good point. You two, take Reggie and Tag on the airboat to the island. I'll figure out... I want to sit up high. Remy, go with them? No, I've got a special job for you, Remy. Feed the fish. Jesus Christ, did you really have to kill him? He's an idiot. For a while, he was useful. It's just... Oh, man up, Hollywood. You're making dark matters look bad. Anyway, you're still dead, right? Get on the boat with my boy. So what about our three missing troublemakers? Shift to plan B, sugar. Get Gary Buckingham on the phone. Time to get us some extra leverage. Watch your step, kid. You're not the boss of me. Hey, he's the boss of you until your mom gets here later. What's in there? 
nothing you need to worry about. Don't touch stuff. Got a game console in this place? I'm... Get over it, kid. They really can't spare the juice for amusement. Stop talking, Amos. Bored. I've got all the Operation Amazeballs movies on my... Boring! We'll wait outside. Maybe Existentialist is more your speed? Lame. At least we've got Wi-Fi in here. Hey, you shouldn't mess around there, Reggie. I'm just looking. Ooh, that's cool. Creepy, but cool. Can't be sure, but I just heard a panicked backyard howl. That gator's loose. Our best... Chaos falls on Cypress Knee. The scales... Are... We're set adrift. Our hopes... Town leaders gather, searching for a plan. We're counting on them. Every wo... The hour for action... Look, folks, let... I think you mean... No, you... It's a serious... Now, now, we're all taking this very seriously. My brother and I are offering a generous tax. I'll catch that kid. Fifty thousand. Oh, we could buy every dog. Yeah. Pay. Fine, JD. You bet. That's a l ludicrous. Ain't got nothing to do with playing pipes. Uh, excuse me, folks. I gotta take this call. What happened to the blogger? Jack Bellet, Casey Gaddis. They're okay for now. Swamp's about to be buzzing with looky loos. Can I help? I promised Casey we'd get his mom to safety. I do. Go get her and take her out to my place in the swamp. And what will you do? Coming up soon, we'll be live with Tamara Bellet and Tina Gray. I'm gonna violate the First Amendment. I'm really not feeling the love for this sit and wait plan of gallons. <laughs> you got a better idea? You bet I did. Or did. Goddamn intricate plan just sort of flapped in and out of my brain like a loopy bat. We've ignored that old man before. Look what- She's right, Jack. We don't know what we'd be up against out there. Fine. I sure as hell ain't going alone. Can't be sure, but I just heard a panicked backyard howl. That gator's loose. Chaos falls on Cypress Knee. The scales and fangs of panic. We're set adrift. Our town leaders gather, searching for a plan. We're counting on them. Every woman child. The hour. Look. I think. It's a. Now, now, we're all taking this very seriously. <laughs> My brother and I are offering it. I'll catch that gator. Fifty thousand. Oh, we could buy every. Yeah. Fine, JD. That's a ludicrous. 
ain't got nothing to do with playing pipes. Uh, excuse me, folks. I gotta take this call. What happened to the blogger? Jack Bellet. They're okay for now. Swamp's about to be bun- Can I help? I promised KC we'd get his mom to safety. You know where she lives? I do. Go get her and take her out to my place in this one. And what will you do? Coming up soon, we'll be live with Tamara Bell- I'm gonna violate the First Amendment. I'm really not feeling the love for this sit and wait plan of Gallon. <laughs> you got a better idea? You better. Or did. Goddamn intricate plan just sort of flapped in and out of my brain like a loopy bat. We've still got questions that need answers. We blew JD off before. I'm with the girl, Casey. We're better off on the move, not just sit. Fine, so what's the new plan? I'm curious about where Kern and his pals took court. The natural gas pipes look like they're going toward the old paper mill in the swamp. Try not to throw your backs out keeping up with me, geezers. That crazy bellet woman and her accomplices want to spin their own story about what happened at Chief Roadsides. We can't let that happen, dog. You nearly ran us off into the swamp with your piss-poor driving. I don't drive much in L.A. I don't believe in it. I don't even... I wouldn't want to break a nail on this. Then maybe quit your bitching. No worries. Let's go inside and get Billy Ray up to speed. Okay, I worked here 30 years ago. Think they ever changed the code, Monroe? All right, let's stop the signal. All right, Sappers Knee, as promised, WC. Our guests are Tamara Bellet and Tina Gray. Thanks for joining us, ladies. I'm just glad to be alive, Billy Ray. I can imagine. Tad Kern hanged from our tower? Jim Larman stabbed? Gordon Cordray made a convenient scapegoat. But he didn't kill anyone. He was... So spill it! Tell everyone in a Well, Billy Ray, the truth is that... Huh! Well, I guess we can record this on my phone. I'll upload it to our website later. Maybe I could get a job in retail at Golden Cypress. 
I'll give you 20 minutes into a Black Friday sale. Yeah. But think about the employee discounts. Are we close to our destination, Codgers? We're getting there, yeah. Great. I didn't bring leech repellent. After Dad died, I spent a lot of time hanging with Gallant in that... What's with the strange Manic Pixie act, anyway? Your mom always seemed more down- I am not a Manic Pixie. I didn't- Gutsy call, sure. Gross. Yeah, about that. Why'd Cordray take a header off the tower? Maybe he took pity on me. Yeah, somehow Cordray nip. All I can tell you is he told me immortality. But <laughs> that was some major wishful thinking on his part. Did he say anything else before taking that? He said he tricked you into thinking Boyd Con- He did what? He framed Boyd Conover? Forget I said anything. I don't think so. Spill it, girl. Nope. Move on. You started it, kid. Finish it. Are you st I'm no mathematician, but it sure sounds like- Gordon Cordray made you think it was Conover. That son of a bitch. Jesus, KC. You sure got played. Watch it, Jack. I'm in no mood. So, wait, if Cordray was your mother... The shit you say? Seriously? Your dad was... Sure seems that way. And... That sucks, kid. Sorry. More walking, less talking, old dudes. How bad is it, Billy Ray? Missing a couple fuses. And Two sets of footprints. Man and a dog look Gaddis and his mutt, maybe? Oh, he should have... We should watch our backs. We'll put Casey Gaddis in check soon enough, sugar. I'll get to work on the repairs. What should I do with the interview? Nothing. For now. Night turned to day, but the unseen voice won't go away. Am I running round the bend? Insanity taking hold? Worry not, friend Woodstep. I won't trouble you long. Our work. Why now? Why me? Why my- You didn't always believe. Didn't always perceive. Now you- You want me to what? Come with me to a house. And- what? Your son's in trouble. He's a safe with a strange man in the middle of the swamp. I could bring you pie. How do I know you're not the dangerous one? A fair question. But I would never hurt you, Mrs. Gaddis. Nor would I... That's right, Bob. Thanks for keeping her safe. I'll get her out of here. And why should I trust you, Gary Buckingham? You've ne- I'm a trusted public servant. What do you think, Bob? Should I go with him? Trust him until you've cast a ballot. I'll run you by the poll, if you like. That may have been a mistake. Buckingham's up to his neck in this conspiracy. Night turned to day, but the unseen voice won't go away. Am I running round the bend? Insanity taking- Worry not, friend Woodstep. I won't trouble you long. Our- Why now? Why me- You didn't always believe. Didn't always perceive. You want me to what? Come with me to a house in the middle of Cyprus. And why would I do- Your son's in trouble. He's angered- Safe. 
with a strange man in the middle. I could bring you pie. How do I know you're not the dangerous one? A fair question. But I would never hurt you, Mrs. Gaddis. Nor would I allow harm. That's right, Bob. Thanks for keeping her safe. And why should I trust you, Gary Buckingham? You've never been a friend. I'm a trusted public servant. What do you think, Bob? Should I go with him? Are you kidding? He's part of it all. Go with him and you're dead. Hate to do this, Monique, but if you don't... You just see if I bring a batch of chocolate peanut brittle to the town council this Christmas. It's not a hoax like last year. Ha! <laughs> Romana Teague's never... How's anyone ever going to know she was wrong? Isn't your whole... St like I said, kid, the plan's not that complicated. Sounds dumb. It's not. The insurance money helps grease the wheel... But you killed a guy who looks like you, pretended to be dead by soup. Right. How's that complicated? You killed Ray Swayhill's brother, too. Well, technically, Ozzy Clendenning killed Jack Swayhill. Made it look like a Florida-worthy accident. I don't see why all these people have to get hurt or die for something stupid like Golden Cypress. People die for a lot less every day, Reggie. That doesn't make it right, and your plan's still stupid. You're just too young to appreciate the genius. Your mother gets it. She's a mastermind. My father won't let her get away with this. It's starting. What? The future. Oh, I see. This is where you're going to shoot. Not going to shoot anybody if I don't have to. We're just going to meet some... They better not hurt my boy. Now listen, Monique. KC made some bad choices. Got me. Got that airboat ready, Gary. Eula Dean. You're in on all this mess, too? I'll make sure the car gets back to town. You better answer me, Eula Dean. It's out of my hands. Huh? Let's go, Monique. Someone's going to... Maybe someone already... No, that's Gallant. Monroe's... I told you gold-plated dipshits to stay in the shack. I didn't want to come. They made... Where's my mother, J.D.? You were... Sent Woodstep to get her while I was pulling off a bit of Sabbath. Shoppers in local. Please respond to reported shots. That's my mom's house, J.D. No one home. Looks like at least one victim was shot on the porch. Blood trail leads to the driveway. Might have left in a car. Well, do they? Take the hospital. I'm sure she's okay, kid. What are we doing to make certain? Get on the boat. I think I know where they're going. You got no cause to shoot that boy. Sure I did. Bob, 
Woodstep's not a bad thing. He's bad for Golden Cypress. Ain't no reason to shoot him. Now listen here, Monique. I approve. Don't you mean... Well, what the... Stuck on a muck bar. Oh, no problem. Don't want to mess up my suit, though. in the plan. That's all. No problem. Take me to my dog. Love to. Can't think of anything I'd rather do. Top him. She needs to see this. She must understand the awesome. Zombies don't talk. I am no zombie. I'm not what I was before. I can see your brain. Cosmetic damage. It's amazing. Don't touch me. Oh, well, bless your heart, Gordon. Great to see you up and about. Good to have you back, boss. Christ! Maybe a bandages. The church elders can fight this truth no longer. This time... You keep using that word! See, she's fine, more or less. You're fine, right, Monique? You all right, Mom? Big Gator. Nearly killed me. You heard it all? Just shook up is all. Poor Bob Woodstep, though. How big was that Gator? Big as that Cadillac when he rocked one for selling... That's Merle. That's the albino bastard I've been hunting all these years. Which way did he go? I'll hunt you down if my boy's killed. That monster killed my son. Wrecked the woman I love. Can't you wait just a little longer for vengeance? I've waited too long as it is. Sorry. I gotta do this. Time to finish this. To a watery grave, you scaly bastard! The monster's dead, JD. I'm not doing so hot either. On it. We're giving no quarter. That's the spirit. Kid. How do we find this place now? I know the way. All right then, let's take him down.
Early exit polls look bad for your pal Buckingham. Oh, now, you don't seriously think the people of Cypress Knee want you instead of Gary B- They're ready for change. I'm calling it the jumper bump. Polls don't close for another couple hours, Chuck. Don't jump to conclusions. Surprised he's not here helping the mayor manage this crisis. Looks- Oh, he's off doing some important work. That work's not related to a certain big development out in the swamp, is it? Why would it be? It's no accident that poor woman from your office got electrocuted at the festival. Don't go spreading ugly lies, Chuck. People in Cypress Knee, they've got long memories. Any luck catching that gator? Not so far, but I just heard from Gary. He wants to meet at Chief Roadsides to talk about his concessions. So that's the business he's been up to. Well, I, uh, didn't want to say it. I guess congratulations are in order, huh? When I get back, we'll talk about a new day for- I can't wait. I can't believe I fell for it. But maybe I just held out hope that Buckingham wasn't as crooked as I thought. Maybe I shouldn't have put so much faith that the people of Cypress Knee wanted something better for themselves. Early exit polls look bad for your pal Buckingham. Oh, now, you don't seriously think the people of Cypress Knee want you? They're ready for change. I'm calling- Polls don't close for another couple hours, Chuck. Don't jump- Surprised he's not here helping the mayor- Oh, he's off doing some important work. That work's not related to a certain big development out in the- Why would it be? It's no accident that poor woman from your office got electrocuted at the festival last night. Don't go spreading ugly lies, Chuck. People in Cypress Knee, they've got long memories. Any luck catching that gator? Not so far, but I just heard from Gary. He wants to meet at Chief Roadsides to talk about his... So that's the business he's been up to. Well, I, uh, didn't want to... I guess congratulations are in order, huh? When I get back, we'll talk about a new day... F I can't wait. I couldn't tell you why exactly. I just got this weird feeling like someone stomping over my grave in biker boots. I decided that moment that Gary Buckingham could keep his seat on the council. Got in my car, drove away. Got on the interstate, never looked back. Good choice of dreams.
time has come, Tamara. Time for what? I require your blood and skin for grafting. No way! Gordon doesn't need all of it, sweet. Does that seem scientifically sound? You try arguing with him. I'm googling it. I agreed to help you test this technology, not hurt you. Want to spend quality time? Time. Grab that axe. The boy's left arm should do. When a rabbit's skin falls short, he must borrow another's. He's lost a lot of blood. I'll stay with him. What is this place? You don't remember this old paper mill? I used to run around here when I was... Quite the cathedral. Let's get your boy, Jack. You've done much. I must rest. Sleep? Is for the wood and the dead. Well, yeah. Just stick. Who are you talking to, Bob? I must prepare. No, leave him alone. They want my arm to fix the crazy zombie man! Mom thinks that's a good idea. He'll never hear about it. Sorry, baby. Romana, so glad I got to see you again. You're even more of a monster than I thought. In you go, Reggie. Don't be hasty, Mr. Bellet. Quarrets, and you'll be editor and publisher of the North Floor. Fuck off and die. Again. We're not here to help you. We're here to stop all this. I'll find the boy. The church will find all of you. It's hopeless to stand against us. Immortality is the only option. You keep using that word. Go while you can, Casey Gannis! No, that's definitely not good. What's happening, Casey? Looks like a major catastrophe in the offing. Can't we go home, Daddy? Give this shithole goodbye.
It's unthinkable what Cordray attempted. Such a goal. He made us look... Well, we can always try Kentucky next time. Shit, not again. You were a prismatic, at the very least. That makes as much sense. Are well, you ready for the Opto Levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. Sure. Let's get on with it. Is that a color or is some kind of granola? It's not as lonely as they say. She took my stepdad's last name. Not me. He didn't hit me as long as he didn't spill any. Keep the money. No one can stop me now. Really good showing. The boss knew you had potential. He'll catch up with you look in the right place. I've got some questions about Tag Kern. He Mr. Kern was a valued member of the Church of Us, yes. Good to know. But I'd like to talk What do you want to know? Did Kern seem upset, depressed? I can't offer specific details due to the confidential nature. How long was Kern a weist? Really, Mr. Bellet? Must you use the pejorative term? Did you talk to Kern at all today? Briefly. We had a counseling session this morning. Is there anything else? I'm done for now. Mr. Bellet, perhaps you'd like to sit and take our test. Sure. Assuming it's free. The test itself is free. Life as a member of the Church of Us, however... Okay. One voice standing out. Maybe I'm a Yankee at heart.
Yeah. That'd be this morning. Wait for their eviction, then buy the house at foreclosure cost. I'm always of two minds. Leave them both to die. Hard to trust a source who won't give time to make the clickbait. The hits just keep coming. Chief Roadsides was lost to obscure as clock. Are you ready for the Opto Levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. Sure. Let's get on with it. Is that a color or some kind of granola? It's not as lonely as they say. She took my stepdad's last name. Not me. He didn't hit me as long as he didn't spill any. Use that money to make more money. A day that's all about me. Perhaps you'd like to sit and take our test. Sure. Assuming it's free. The test itself is free. Life as a member of the Church of Us, however, is priceless. Okay. One voice standing out. Really enjoy those mountain vistas. Yeah, that'd be this morning.
No need dwelling in the past. Why dig up old feelings like that? No thanks. Feeling that more and more. Hard to trust a source who... Time to make the clickbait. The hits just keep coming. <laughs> 